I have built backend APIs with both Spring Boot and Node.js and honestly one of them is way easier to start with but the other one never breaks in production. So today I'm putting them head to head, setup speed, code simplicity, performance and my real developer opinion at the end. Let's settle this once and for all, Spring Boot vs Node.js 2025 edition. Hey everyone, I am Prashant Sharma. Welcome back to the channel where we build real world projects, not just hello world tutorials. If you are learning backend development, you have probably heard this debate. Should I learn Java Spring Boot or Node.js? So instead of just talking, I'm going to build a REST API in both side by side and share what it actually feels like as a developer. By the end, you will know which one fits you better. All right. Let's start with setup. On the left, I am creating a new Spring Boot project using Spring Initializer. Just selecting dependency as a Spring Web and then just click on generate. That's it. Now coming to Node.js setup, open VS Code and type this in the terminal. So mkdir node API. The directory is created as you can see here. Now go to this directory and then use npm to initialize. All right. So this is done as well. Now just use npm install express. All right. So it's done. So in Java, we have to initialize the project first and then import it to the IDE and basically do the computation or the coding later on. If you have the IDE, you can also generate the project in the IDE itself as well. There also you have to do the same steps. For VS Code, you have to use terminal and you can simply use NPM to do whatever you want to do. So just to summarize, uh, setup wise, setup takes second so yeah node.js wins the time to first api round but let's see what happens when we actually write the code so importing the project that we have just downloaded in the ide so it will take few seconds depending on the connectivity that you have and similarly for node what you can do is you have to just open this folder which i have already opened so these files are generated for me when we did this now talking about spring boot what we have to do to create an api is just go to java and then create a new java class so here we just need to annotate this with rest controller and create a mapping so let's say public string say hello and here we are simply going to return hello from spring boot now this is going to be a get mapping api hello now spring boot feels structured you get a controller you have annotations you have the functionality of dependency injection which is all built in once you hit run the app starts on port 8080 and it is rock solid so Let's run this. So as you can see, uh, the Tomcat started on port 8080. And if I were to go to API hello, you can see that I have got the message hello from Spring Boot. Now let's talk about Node.js and Express. So here what we need is we need to create a new file. So let's quickly create that file. So we are inside node API and here we will just do touch server.js and this is going to create a file for us. Let's open this. Now we need some code here. So const express require express and then we need port now we are going to create an api so which is going to be a get api again 
with same API. Hello. Now we need request response. What we are going to send as response is hello from Node.js. Then we need app dot listen and here we are going to provide the port and then we need to log in in the console so let's say server running on now this is all logging this is not something which we need All right, so this is what we need. Now to run this, we are in the correct directory. So we are just going to do node server.js and hit enter. You will see that server running on this port. So let's open this. And what we need is we need to just change the port here. So this is going to be 3000. And you can see that we got hello from node.js here. We are getting hello from spring boot. Now here we have the same thing in node.js with express that we had in Java in hello controller. Now here we have few lines of code. If you compare here, we have total 11 lines of code with some spaces here. We have almost 14 lines of code with some spaces. So uh, talking about lightweight node.js is lightweight, fast and does it force structure as in a proper structure like here we have to have a class and something like that now node.js is great for small projects but can get messy in bigger ones now let's talk real world differences the stuff that matters once you have built something in terms of setup time node.js wins hands down simple quick and easy for beginners learning curve wise if you know javascript node.js feels natural Spring Boot is powerful, but you need to understand Java, Maven, Gradle and annotations. It is a learning curve. Talking about ecosystem, Spring Boot equals to enterprise power. You get security, you get GPA, validations, everything out of the box. Node.js equals to flexibility. You pick your own libraries, ORM, security layers. You build your own stack. Performance, Spring Boot's JVM is multi-threaded and very stable for large systems. Node.js is asynchronous, which is fast for lightweight APIs, but struggles with CPU heavy task. Now let's talk about scalability. Spring Boot scales vertically, which is adding more resources to one machine. Node.js scales horizontally, which is spin multiple lightweight instances easily. Now, final thing, developer experience. Spring Boot feels structured and safe. Node.js feels free and fast, but you can shoot yourself in the foot if you are not careful. Here is where these frameworks really separate in the wild. Netflix, PayPal and Uber use Node.js for fast, lightweight microservices. Amazon, Google and banks use Spring Boot for large scale enterprise grade systems. So it's not about better or worse. It's about where you are building. Now, let me give you my honest opinion as someone who has coded both in production. If I'm building something for a client, I will pick Spring Boot every single time. It is stable, mature and backed by decades of enterprise support. But if I want to build something quickly, like a new project, a side hustle or a startup API, I will go with Node.js. Node.js is fast to prototype, deploy and scale horizontally. Both are amazing just for different mindsets. Spring Boot is for engineers. Node.js is for builders. In benchmarks, Node.js wins small scale API performance, but under heavy enterprise load, Spring Boot's JVM optimization takes over. So the real question isn't which is faster. It is which fits you better, which fits your project better. 
Spring Boot has deep enterprise roots, as in banks, fintech, large organizations love it. Node.js, on the other hand, evolves insanely fast. You will find 10 times more open source projects and tutorials. In 2025, both are safe bets. But if you want job security, Java Spring Boot still leads the corporate market. If you want startup agility, Node.js wins hands down. So to wrap up, here is how I would summarize it. Setup, Node.js is faster. Structure, Spring Boot stronger. Performance, tie, depends on use case. Ecosystem, Spring Boot is enterprise based. Node.js is open source based. Learning curve, Node.js is easier. Long term stability, always Spring Boot. Now, if this video helped you finally understand the difference, hit that like button. It helps a lot. And comment below which one are you using right now. Next, I'm going to compare Spring Boot with Django. So make sure you are subscribed and notifications are on. I will see you in the next one. Have a good day. Stay happy and bye bye.